You may feel you are too sinful to communicate with Jesus Christ. You may think to yourself, Kevin, I have fornicated too much. I have lied too much. I have murdered too much. I have manipulated in a bad way too much. You may think that you have done so many bad things. Okay, why did Jesus Christ come on this earth? I believe there's a verse, and let me see if I can find it right quick. I was going to just freestyle, but let me use some verses, I guess. John 3 and 16, perhaps. All right. Are you there? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So, Father God sent his son because we were in sin. You say you can't face God because of this sin or that sin, but Jesus Christ came to help us. So, in a general sense, I believe there is one sin that God may not forgive. But other than that, no matter how sinful you are, God wants you to turn to him. You may say to someone that you do want to pray, you do want to fast, you do want to do things of God, but you feel like God is so angry with you, you may say God is this and that towards you. If you go back to the Old Testament, I believe God would get so angry with the nation of Israel, but he would readily I believe the majority of the times be waiting for the nation of Israel to change so that he can bless them. So many times. I think some people see God as this mean, harsh. I believe some people believe that Jesus Christ is mean, harsh and whatever else like that. Yes, I believe he has a, what is that? I believe he has a punishing side, but he is full of love and patience as well. I believe he is long suffering, if I am saying that correctly too. Am I saying that right? I believe he is long-suffering. Besides that one sin, which I am not going to say what it is because I believe some people might be very anxious and believe they have done it, blah, 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 blah. But besides that, I believe Jesus Christ wants you to repent and come to him. You may be trying to do this on your own, as in trying to live a righteous lifestyle on your own, and you can't. You can't. You need the help of Jesus Christ. People may say, I am a good man, Kevin, you are this, you are that. Some people may compliment me, but let me tell you this, Uncle Kev is nothing, 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 nothing without Jesus Christ. 
without the help and mercy and grace of Jesus Christ. So stop hiding away from God because you are condemning yourself. You feel you aren't worthy and all that mess there. No, get up, repent, ask Jesus Christ to help you, and I believe he will. I know I do wrong. Let me say this too. Sometimes I believe demons remind me of things I done back in the past. Like some of them is probably three plus or more years ago. Why are those things still in my mind? Is it God? Is it Jesus like, hey, Kevin, I am going to keep reminding of you the sins you have done. Yes, you are striving for perfection. Yes, you are trying to do what is right. But Kevin, I am going to keep on reminding you of the evil that you have done in the past. Is that what God is doing? No. I believe that is demons. If you go to Romans, let me see if I have the scripture right. Romans 8 and 1, Bible Gateway, King James Version. Let's go to it. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. What is that saying? In essence, I believe this is saying, if you are trying to do what is right, if you are trying to go by God's rules, if you mess up, move on. Stop condemning yourself. Stop being in this pity party or this depressed thing, thinking about what you have done wrong and how wrong it was, move on. Don't let demons discourage you from living for God. I believe that is the ultimate goal to separate you from Jesus Christ. Don't let that happen. If you do wrong, pick yourself up and keep walking straight. Well, Kevin, I am always going to sin. Yeah, probably yes. But don't focus on that. Focus on getting better. Focus on what you can do. Does that make any sense? Stop condemning yourself. Strive for perfection. If you fall, Get up and try again. Keep on doing this until you die. God bless you.